Right, so, hi everybody. Um, so I think this is my fourth video, maybe. Um, as you can see, I am pregnant. Um, third trimester, almost 33 weeks. Um, I do exercise pretty much on a daily basis. So I'm trying to film some of my workouts that I think will um, benefit other people. So any ability, um, if you're a beginner, if you're pregnant, if you're recovering from injury, um, obviously as long as you've been given the green light by your doctor that you're um, or physio that you're okay to start exercising, um, then my workout should hopefully um, be appropriate for you guys. Um, if you're fit and healthy and you rec exercise regularly, you can still use my uh, programs because um, I will show you ways to make it harder. Um, and some of them it's just about pushing yourself harder um, but where I can I'll show you progressions and regressions so that you can um, make them safe for you modify accordingly or make it harder and more challenging right um, if you see my previous videos you'll know um, that we don't really have much fitness equipment at home because we tend to uh, um, have access to gyms where we train um, so we've got odd bits and pieces, but mainly we've had to improvise. So I've got some new ideas. Um, we drink these cartons of milk. That's for my two-year-old. It's for me. Um, I found out if you fill them with water, so these are four pint containers, I think, four pints. They weigh 2.5 kilograms, perfect. So if you're doing sort of say shoulder exercises, or if you've never lifted weights before and you want to try some light weights to do bicep curls, 2.5 kilos is probably the upper end that you want to try. If you want lighter weights, I would suggest maybe if you've got a four pint container, just filling it sort of halfway, quarter way. So halfway would be roughly 1.25 and I guess quarter or a third would be one sub one kilo, which is kind of a good way to start with doing upper body exercise. Um, other ideas, if you've got 500 ml, one litre bottles of water or any drink, they, sh you sh they should still should be narrow enough for you to be able to hold them. Because otherwise, if there's any bigger, you want ones with handles, you do have to kind of think about how you're holding them. If you're doing like a push, you need to think about your positioning, but it's very doable. You can do rows. So anyway, I've got myself two, two and a half kilo dumbbells. Um, or stand-ins. If you've only got one, no problem. Where I'm showing you both arms, just basically do one first. And once you've done however many reps I'm telling you to do, pause the video and do the same on the other side, okay? So you can just use one weight. I've also got a 7.5 kilo weight kettlebell. So I will show you some kettlebell maneuvers for those that have kettlebells. Um, so they're my weights. And then as I'm outside, because we have an extension works done inside, there's no space to work out indoor, indoors, excuse me, my lunch is still there. Um, I have luckily found a bench. Okay. So we'll be doing some rows where you want to be able to stabilize your body by holding onto something like a bench. If you don't have a bench, you can simply kind of use your leg like so and do that, okay? Or an arm, an armchair or a sofa, table, um, back of a chair if it's a stable chair. Uh, or an arm of a chair even um, so yeah there's different things you can use um, and I think that's pretty much it we'll also be using the bench you can use sofa you can use a step if you've got stairs or garden you've got a step to do tricep dips okay so I think that's all you need to know about equipment okay but to begin with we are going to do some warm up and the dog is kindly sat off, 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 
on my notes. So I've made notes so we know what we're doing. Right, so we're gonna do five exercise of 30 seconds repeated twice for warm up. So that's five minutes in total. We'll then have a break, very brief break to have some water. And then we're gonna do some floor exercises. And these floor exercises um, incorporate kind of mobility, flexibility and core work. Um, I've had some requests from clients and other people that have been watching my videos. So thank you for watching and thank you for the feedback. And thank you for the request because it means that I've got engagement from the wider audience, which is great to hear. Um, so for core work and also um, because a lot of people finding working from home, you're actually sitting um, for longer and you've got less space to walk around in. Um, hip kind of mobility uh, release exercises. So I've put some um, exercises together to do that, but that would also, it's quite dynamic, so it will also um, um, loosen up your body. Um, and then today we're gonna do upper body resistance training. Um, and again, this is very good if you're working at a desk all day. Um, it will help to kind of balance all your muscles and hopefully help get the posture correct or towards being correct as well as giving you a nice exercise, resistance based exercise because um, the other workout I did the other day so if you want to go back through my YouTube um, channel if you su subscribe those glutes leg workout which you can then do on a different day and then we're going to finish with some core work now um, contrary to some beliefs although I'm pregnant um, I can still do some core work there are specific uh, like ab crunches that you're not supposed to do but there are lots of work you can do to really engage the core and keep that core strength um, there because it's essential for protecting the rest of your body um, your pelvis your lower back um, for during birth pre-birth during and post-birth uh, I'm not going to have a c-section um, not because I'm too posh to push, but my first was an emergency and for various reasons, the safer option for me and the baby will be a, a C-section. Um, and therefore my, um, yeah, it's really essential that I try and keep my core strength up because it will be affected when I have the C-section. But hopefully the recovery will be quicker. So I'm just trying to protect my body and get ready for the best possible experience. Um, but uh, the other thing to know is actually, whenever you actually move your body, if you really focus on using the core, then you are actually exercising your core. I think people think you have to be doing abs and crunches <laughs> uh, to work your core. Well, actually, no. If you do all your exercises correctly and really focus on getting your core um, to work the body, to stabilize your body, uh, and to move the body correctly, then you are actually exercising the core. So all I ask is throughout the entire session, really focus on using the core. If you're pregnant like me, ladies, you'll find you're doing this, okay? By tilting your pelvis like so, that engages the core and it's gonna prevent you from getting what we call an excessive lordosis, which will lead to most likely, not always, lower back issues, okay? So what you want to do, so if you find yourself doing that, really tilt your pelvis, use your core, okay? To Because at the moment, if you do that, your lower back is really um, tight and it's kind of engaged the whole time and your core is relaxed. So you want to tilt, engage the core, okay? And try and get a more of a neutral spine uh, and this will help any lower back issues now and post baby. But actually, that applies to everybody. It's not just for pregnant women, okay? Lordosis, the excessive kind of arch in the lower back is very common, as, in, as is kyphosis, okay? So muscle imbalances can cause all sorts of knock-on impacts. So really be um, aware of trying to form the right posture throughout your day-to-day -day movements and your exercises. So there's no harm in filming what you're doing. Um, if you want to send your videos to me, I can always critique and make suggestions as to how you can improve your posture. Um, and finally, um, 
this is free so please share to all your friends and family however if anyone would like to make a donation to help support um, myself and my husband because we're both personal trainers so obviously we've been hit quite hard uh, with the um, the pandemic then um, there is a link published alongside this video so any donation however small will be gratefully um, appreciated but again it is completely free so please don't feel obliged just keep yourself fit and healthy hopefully um, with this video so with no more to say let's begin so can't see the screen because of the sun right so when you're ready you're gonna start jogging on the spot okay now if you're fit and healthy lightly start jogging on the spot okay I'm walking on the spot but I'm gonna raise my knees just because I am at that point where jogging bouncing anything high impact is really uncomfortable okay so if you're fit and healthy you should be jogging and then starting to bring your knees up quite high and in three two one you're gonna do star jumps okay so I'm gonna do one leg at a time if you're fit and healthy guess what you should be jumping okay so we're gonna do another 10 sorry another 20 seconds okay and when that's up we are going to go and walk side to side in a squat stance for 30 seconds okay so five four three two one okay so here we go try not to bounce you don't want to bounce okay you want to try and keep that squat position the whole time halfway okay you're activating your glutes now as well as your legs but mainly your glutes should be feeling this right and then we're going to do external rotation okay yeah hips open those hips out yeah if you can see my feet yeah. three two one into side lunges side step back so there's more space for me to move okay go as deep as you're comfortable don't push this is a warm-up and if you've not done side lunges before just keep it half lunges like this okay don't need to go deep if you can go deep you're confident going deep you've got the strength to do it that's fine make sure you don't over stretch okay good right cool so have a little break and then we're going to do that again okay so just keep marching on the spot Right, in 10 seconds you're going to start jogging on the spot if you're fit and healthy you should be high knees at this point okay so high knees but quickly I can't because I'm pregnant cool but if you're walking on the spot like me and you're able to lift your knees high my bump is getting in the way <laughs> Right, so in five seconds, we're gonna do star jumps. Right, so if you're fit and healthy, this is a star jump, okay? I'm gonna just, one leg, because I don't want the baby to fall out. <laughs> I'm not ready for, for her to come yet. <laughs> God forbid, you never know. Right. Keep breathing. Right, we're gonna go side squat walks. Okay, hold that squat position, a bit like a crab. Really, really think about using your glutes, 
Okay, you should be feeling some burning in your glutes. Okay. Those that have got resistance bands, you can put them around your ankles or just above your knees to make it harder. Okay, and then the rotation. Good. As high as you can. Good. Right. Okay. Three, two, one. Into side. Side. Good. Right, you got ten seconds. You should be getting nice and warm now. Three, two, one. Right, good. Now, we need to use the floor now. So if you're outside like me, you might want to, uh, unless you're on the grass, we're not. It's concrete, so we've got mats or towels. I don't think it'll be very comfortable if it's a hard surface without some padding or carpet. If you've got yoga mats, perfect. Okay, so make sure I'm done. I'm in the picture. Is that better? Yeah. Right, cool. So, let me just bring my notes here. We're going to do a few things. I'll just turn this off. Right, here we go. Right, so cat cow. Okay, really good for your lower back. Pregnant ladies, this is really good. So, okay, and then we we'll do five of these. Really feel your back, your upper back as well, stretching, and, and also your shoulder blades all across there. And then we're going to go into what's called a bird dog, okay? So, in this position, okay, really focus on the core and avoid any excessive arching, okay? So you want to make sure your pelvis is tucked in, core engaged, and then without tilting your body, trying to keep your hips square to the floor, you're going to extend your right arm and then your left leg, so the opposite limbs, okay? Hold for five seconds back down. Slowly, one, two, three, four, five. That's one. We do five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's two. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Good. I'm just going to have a drink because it's quite warm outside. <sighs> okay, we're next going to do the glute bridge, lying down glute bridge. 
Okay, so this is good for your core, your glutes. Okay, so feet slightly wider than hips. Okay, lie down. You see me? I'm good. Right, for the pregnant ladies, when you get up from this position, rather than sitting up, roll to the side and get up, okay? That's the safest way to get up from a lying down position. I'm sure you know this already, but in case. So, feet slightly wider than hips, okay? And then what you want to try and do is bring your pelvis up and your thighs should be almost parallel to the floor, okay? By pushing the glutes up, squeeze your glutes there, okay? Hold for three seconds and back down. Really think about rolling your back vertebrae by vertebrae off the floor, okay? So it's not a quick movement, it's not a thrust, it's rolling it off the mat. Hold for one, two, three, and there. Right, if you find that very easy, and if you're not pregnant, okay, you can do it with one leg, okay? I'm not gonna do this because I, I'm pregnant, I'm third trimester, but if you're not pregnant, not injured, and you find both feet on the floor easy, you can make it harder by lifting one leg, do five on one leg, five on the other. I've right, got three more to go, guys, come on in. One, two, three, One, two, three. Last one. One, two, three. Yeah, right. And then roll to the side if you're pregnant and get up like so. Right. Actually, we're going back on our back, sorry. <laughs> okay, so just roll onto your back. Okay, next we're going to do trunk rotation, okay? So, shoulders touching the floor and it stays there, okay? Lift your legs like so, 90 degrees, and you're going to roll to the side without letting the shoulders come off the floor, if you can, and then slowly roll to the other side. We're going to do five of these, okay? So that's one. Okay, really feel your lower back stretch. One. Two. Make sure your shoulders stay on the floor. Um, three. Good. Oh, nice. And then remember to come up. Okay. Right. Now, the next one you might need, uh, like if you've got a, a pilate block or a towel will do, rolled up towel. If, like me, I've got rubbish dorsiflex. Dorsiflexion is this how far you can mobilize this joint here because it's rubbish. I'm one of those people that can't squat um, without their feet flat on the ground unless my feet are really wide. So trying to do this, I can't do, okay? So what I will do is I'm gonna roll my towel because for this stretch, you wanna ideally have your heels flat. So I'm gonna roll the out. I'm going to do a frog pose stretch, okay? So you want your feet slightly wider than hips, okay? And then what you want to do is bend your knees and bring your knees out. And then with your elbow, gently pull your knees apart. And you should feel, I've got my heel flat on the towel, slightly raised, which enables me to sink into a squat, okay? 
if you've got anything to hold on to, it's another way you can do it. Okay, like a stair banister. Okay, and I'm literally just for 10 to 15 seconds, just squeezing my knees outwards, pushing it outwards, feeling that stretch. Okay, and we'll go again, slowly down, sink into that squat. If you're pregnant like me, you'd have to do a wide squat anyway because you couldn't do a narrow squat because of the bump. Okay, right, and then from that position, if you're able to just put your hands back to support you and just bring a knee in, okay, one, like this, oh, nice, two, so try and keep one foot flat, the one that's not moving, with the heel flat, and then rotate the other leg inwards, okay, like this, okay, we'll go two more times, okay, last one, good, right, and then, another good one for the hips to open them up. So, if you kneel down, again with your knees quite as wide as it can go, and your feet, if you can, touching, okay, I might do it that way, it might be better for you guys, okay, and then just widen your knees as much as you can, then you're going to kind of walk forward and down onto your elbow. And then just just bring your knees wide as you can and just feel your hips opening up okay and then if you just move forward but not too much you don't want to lose that stretch you'll feel it when you get a nice stretch okay hold it for a couple of seconds okay and then just come back up okay and then we go again we'll do that a few times we don't want to do static stretching I'm trying to do dynamic stretching, just keep moving because we're preparing the body for movement. Okay. Static stretching, when you hold a stretch for a long time, is better for post-exercise. Okay. Just feel that stretch, find that discomfort point. Oh. Nice. Let's do a couple more. into a calf stretch okay so in a kneeling position bring one leg out and forward like so 90 degrees okay and again just find that right comfort zone for you don't over stretch okay okay and then bring your arms up like so okay that's your hip flexor stretch into a calf stretch sorry a, even a hamstring stretch even sorry Okay, hamstring stretch. Okay. So we're going to do five of these on one side. Two. One. Two. Okay, and the last one. hamstring stretch. Nice. Hip flexor stretch into a hamstring stretch. Good. Okay, two more. Right, so that's the mobility and core work. We will have some core at the end as well, so do not fear. We have more core work to go. Right. 
So, I think I said at the beginning, we're going to do upper body in terms of weight training today or resistance training because it's not all weights. We're going to use some body weight. Um, so, the first one we're going to do are push ups. So, every exercise we're going to do eight, okay? Eight reps. So, push ups, okay? So, the hardest one to do are on your toes, okay? Which, if you've never done these before, you're pregnant or heavily pregnant, you probably don't want to do them on your toes. But you're not, okay? Like so, okay? To make it easier on your knees. Even easier is a box position, so your knees directly below your hips, okay? And if that's still hard, I can see if I can film it on here against a wall. Okay. You can do one against the wall. So there's lots of options for you there. I am probably going to do knees. Alright, let's make sure I get back into the shop. So we're going to do eight, okay? There he goes. Ready? your chest muscles and the back of your arms, your triceps, okay? Right, and then, so then we want to do, because we've done the chest and the arms, we now want to do the back and biceps. So, if you've got a weight, grab a weight, okay? So, I'm going to turn this around. Either tilt Put your hand on your one leg and you can do a row like this okay or if you've got a bench or um, sofa arm arm of a sofa a chair use that i'm going to use this bench okay and make sure your back's nice and straight okay um, you don't want to tilt the body to lift the weight you're simply using your back muscle and your biceps and you're going to pull one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to go and do the other side in the exact same way, okay? So back straight, I'm checking my starts here. Okay, core engaged, no excessive arch, okay, tuck your pelvis in, okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. So they are single arm rows, okay, and then, into a shoulder press. Okay, let me just change the angle. There we go. That's better. Cool. Right, so we're not quite right with a kettlebell. Looks like this. Okay. And then we're gonna go into a press, a shoulder press. And then back down again. Okay? So upright row into a press. Okay, don't lock your knees, you want to keep them soft, okay? 
got dumbbells or makeshift weights, okay? So you wanna go up, right row, change your stance, and then press up, okay? And back down. Press up. If you've only got one weight, okay, that's fine. You can go do one side and then you can swap and do, sorry, it's a bit awkward, but you can do it, okay, like so. Just when you press, get your hand ready to push from under the weight, okay. So you're pulling up and then you want to push the weight up with your hand kind of under the weight. Right, so let's go for it. We're gonna do eight of those, okay? So I'm using the kettlebell, okay? So, one, two, three, four, Six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's working all up there around your shoulders. Okay, lower your under your neck, your traps like a cape there. Okay, all those muscles. Right, and then using your lighter weight so if you've never done these before you want to try and use like a one kilo weight so if you've got one who got these then only fill it half with water or if you've got a smaller pint or two pint cartons with water should suffice okay so we're going to do side raises okay so a side raise is bringing your arm to the side okay no higher than the shoulder hand shouldn't be any higher than your shoulders and then back down okay don't swing because that momentum means you're cheating basically you want to use your muscles to pull the weight up and then back down okay so no swinging like this because it's then it's easy that's wrong okay it doesn't mean anything that okay right so ready we're gonna go one and slowly down two and slowly down Three, don't let your arms drop. Control it, four, five, six, seven. Right, if your arms start burning or you can't do, you find you can't do anymore, just drop the weights, do them without the weights, okay? And then we're gonna do front raises. Okay, so we're gonna go to the front, okay? and back so I'm going to use slightly heavier again if you've not done these before okay stick to the lighter weight one two so no swinging this isn't a kettlebell swing okay control hold and down three four right, remember use your core Seven and last one eight okay good that was your shoulder workout and then we're going to finish with your biceps and your triceps okay so let's use the light weights that we've got okay we're going to do bicep curls one two so you want to keep the top half of your arm completely still you're just hinging at the elbows three okay and your bicep so I'm doing all the work okay no swing in I think that's four five six seven eight Right, so that's your biceps, okay? And then we're gonna do some tricep dips, okay? 
So if you've got a bench, sofa, a step, anything that's raised, great. Otherwise you can do it on the floor. Okay. Now, the closer your knees are, the easier it is. Okay, the straighter your legs, the harder. If you want to make it even harder, you can rest a weight on your legs. So you've got more resistance there. I'm going to start with straight legs. I may have to bend my knees because I'm carrying extra weight. Let's see. We're going to do eight. Ready? So you're going to bend your elbow to let your body go down. Two. Slowly down, slowly up. Three. Okay. If you need to bring your knees in. Four. I'm okay, so I'm going to carry on with the straight legs. Five. Six. Ooh. Seven. Eight. Right, guys, so that's the strength part of this workout. Now, if you're new to this, just do one set. So just stick with what I've just done. If you want to do more, you're used to exercising, go again two more times at least, up to five times. That was a little circuit. Um, so yeah, just uh, choose the right um, amount for you. Make it harder, make the weights heavier. Um, or use the most progressed options that I've shown you. Push yourself if you can, if you're new, if you're coming back from injury, if you're pregnant, then listen to your body. Don't go further than you feel comfortable doing, okay? The most important thing is keeping mobile um, and exercising. But if you're pregnant, it's not about reaching new peaks. It's not about um, pushing yourself beyond what you were able to do before. It's just maintaining fitness or very gradually building the strength, okay? Um, that can come post natal once your body has recovered from the birth process then you can gradually push um, aim for personal best but now it's not the time um, however it is the time to maintain and sensibly gradually building strength right so the final bit is core workout so I've got some planks you can do planks if you're pregnant just need to be careful and modify where necessary um, each exercise we're going to do for 30 seconds so I'm going to get my timer back up because I don't know where it's gone stopwatch here we go so let's reset cool right so can you see me okay you can right so planks there's various different options okay so the most normal plank okay is called a I think it's called a low plank so on your forearms okay and on your toes that's a normal plank if that's too hard try a high plank so like so on your hands okay um and then if that's too much maybe a raised one like this okay or like i showed you for the push-up you can probably do it on the wall as well that might be better that's a plank like so regardless of which one you do really focus on your core okay your core should be doing the majority of the work to stabilize your body to hold that body in that position okay right so we're gonna do 30 seconds of the plank of your choice and then we're gonna do plank shoulder taps okay shoulder taps oh, in a plank position you tap one hand to the opposing shoulder okay without rocking that's not what you do you keep your hips square still as much as you can okay you can do this on your knees okay bring your knees in if you have to and again you can do it raised on the bench on your sofa or standing at a diagonal angle and you can do it like that okay so choose the most appropriate one for you okay and then we're going to go into a 30 second side plank okay so the side plank so lie on your side 
okay? And then you lift your head, okay? If you wanna make, sorry, I'm just getting comfortable here. Make it harder, okay? You can do the star one, which I'm not gonna do, okay? Or if that's hard, on your knees, okay? If you want to lift one leg, make it harder, fine. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds, okay? And then to finish, we're gonna do a wood chop, which grab the weight you have. So if you've got a makeshift weight, nothing too heavy if you've not done this before. If you've never done this, maybe start with like a two and a half kilo weight. If you want to do the weight, otherwise you can do it without the weight also, okay? And in a squat stance, okay, you're gonna go to one side and you're gonna rotate up, okay? It's gonna be under control. Two, okay? And then once we've done one side, we're gonna go to the other side and rotate up, okay? So this is exercising your obliques, okay? To your side muscles here. Right, so they're the um, exercises. So there's six to do. Well, we've got one, two, three, four to do, but two of them will go 30 seconds on each side. So in total, we're going to do six lots of 30 seconds. Okay, so get into position, find the right plank for you, and then you're going to go. Just Where's the start button? Here we go. In fact, actually, have some water first. All right. Let me just see. Go. Okay, use your core. Okay. Nice and straight body. Three, two, one, shoulder taps. One. Two. Okay. Four. Okay. Five. Halfway. Whew. Ten seconds left. Into a side plank, guys. Choose your side. Trying to stay, stabilize my body into a side plank. We're going to swap sides. Go. I find this side easier for some reason. We've all got a stronger side, haven't we? If you want to make it harder, you can dip, dip, dip. I won't. <laughs> That's enough for me. Good. Right. And then we're going to do our wood chops, okay? So grab your weight. If not, just do the movement without a weight, okay? So, ready in three, two, one. Oh. Don't swing, okay? I'm the control. And follow the weight with your head, okay? Five seconds left, guys. Right, swap sides. And 
finished. Oh, and that's it, guys. That's today's workout. Hopefully you found that enjoyable. I don't know if that's the right word when I've uh, <laughs> been working out. Let's just do some stretches. Oh, stretch your quads. Child pose. Oh. There we go, guys. Oh. So, um, the core exercise at the end, if you want to go again two or three times, um, especially if you're used to exercising your core, then I would recommend you do so. If you're new, see how you feel after doing one round if in a couple of days two or three days um, you feel up to doing it again maybe do it twice the second time round if it felt good the first time but if it's quite tough then maybe just work on doing just one round at a time until you feel like you can do it easily and then increase the rounds um, or even increase the time that you do exercise for so whatever you do don't hold your breath on those planks if you're pregnant um, or anybody in fact, just keep breathing, okay? It's not about holding your breath for 30 seconds, deep breathing. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, please feel free to share with friends and family. Um, this is all free, however, any donation that you'd like to give um, me will help us greatly during this time. So you'll find a link um, if you feel like donating any money, however small, it'll be greatly appreciated. Um, that leads me to say, um, stay at home, stay safe, um, and see you again soon. Bye.